Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lorelai Shamayo. This is Me, We, Metaphysics and Wellness Fairs for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have events throughout the Northwest and also online, many online these days, and we interview our practitioners and vendors so you get a chance to know who we are before you meet us at an event. I'm here today interviewing Danielle Dvorak. It's lovely to be with you. So tell Thank us- you. What no, you're welcome. So tell us, what is it that you offer at our events? I'm offering soul path readings, which is uh, an intuitive reading where I look at the chakra system first and your auric field, and then I'll tune into what lights up or gets my attention, which is usually a particular chakra. And, and I'll ask to see um, what's going on there. What, why did it draw me in? Is there an old belief system? Uh, are there other energetic involvements? And then I also ask to see a past life that relates to what's going on in this current time and in that particular chakra or area of the body. And then I also go to the Akashic Records and we look at the Akashic Records. So I bring in all these resources and tools that the client is then able to use afterwards to do their own work. So say a little bit more about what you mean by asking. So are you asking more of an intuitive sense? Are you asking guides? You just mentioned the Akashic Records, like what is? question. Um, I am asking clients higher self and through pretty much the whole reading it's my higher self talking to the client's higher self. Um, however when I go to the Akashic Records of course I'm asking angels, guides, the lords of the records, um, assuming people know what the Akashic Records are. There are soul records that exist in another dimension and I've worked with the Akashic Records for a very long time. Um, and one of the things that uh, I do there in the soul path reading is I bring back symbols from the Akashic Records, and those symbols are wonderful tools for the client to work with in an ongoing way through meditation, through um, doing their own work. Mm -hmm. And work. how and how do you like maybe in terms of the clairs, how are you aware of the answers? Um, I, I have many clairs, <laughs> uh, clairsentience primarily and clairvoyance, but um, I also am clairaudient and clair, I can't think of the word, clair smelling. Yeah, I know there's a word for that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I know which one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The clair information, I see it on my inner screen. I see images, I see videos, I see words. And then the clairsentient, it just drops in on me. There's just a knowing. Well, kind and, of and cl cl clairsentient of like the body or claircognizance, meaning that you just know it in your mind. Both. Okay. Yeah. both or yeah yeah. Great. yeah I get it in my body I know it in my mind yeah yeah it just makes me think about I think we talked a little bit of like there are all these different modalities that you do too not this and that sounds like that's part of why like you're receiving in so many ways and mm -hmm. do you want to what are all these different things that you do you mix in when you work with people in person yeah I I'm a long time about 20 years a sui reiki master teacher I have trained and attuned hundreds of people to reiki I'm also a very long time uh, yoga teacher, um, experienced. I'm also a certified aromatherapist. I've worked with essential oils since the 1970s. I'm also a, obviously a lifelong intuitive, come from a family of intuitives or psychics. Yeah, that makes sense. That. Yeah. And I think you mentioned sound healing in there too. Like how is, so what is? Yeah, I'm actually a lifelong musician, classically trained. Um, piano, cello, voice. I still sing and play. Um, and again, about 20 years ago, was trained and certified in Tibetan sound healing using singing bowls, gongs, bells, etc. cetera. Um, wonderful modality. In fact, I teach that at the Andrew Wiles Center for Integrated Medicine here in Tucson. Wow, it's great. I'm tingling all over as you're talking about this. Like I so want to be there with you in Arizona too. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. Well, so let's go back to the soul path reading. So do people come with specific questions typically, or do they, they just like want to know what's here for them? What? Um, both. A lot of the time people have a specific question. You know, they want to know about a relationship or their health or career, finances, their home, whatever. And then there are other times that people are like, well, I just kind of want to see what comes up. And, uh, you know, it works no matter what. Ah, so excited. It's great. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Well, let's see. If people want to learn more about you and all that you do, where do they find you on the web? They can find me at replevin.com, my website. That's R as in Robert, E as in Edward, P as in Peter, 
L-E-V-Y-N, like in Nancy, replevin.com. I know it's an unusual word. It actually comes from ancient Norman French, and it means to rediscover something you did not know you lost. Mm -hmm. Replevin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great meaning. Well, I'm looking forward to having you at our events and more and more people connecting with you. Mm. Me so too. So thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. And for all of you listening and watching, you can learn more about us at mewefairs.com. That's M-E-W-E-F-A-I-R-S.com. Thanks so much, Danielle. Thank you, Lorelai. I appreciate your time.